I might be French, but I love uh, the, some great flat bread, which is called focaccia, which is typically from Italy and also very popular in south of France uh, called fougas. And here today I'm making one of those versions of a focaccia with some uh, rosemary, a little bit of sea salt and some extra virgin olive oil. So let me show you how to do that. So I have a little bit of a lukewarm water and I'm just gonna pour some granulated yeast in there. I'm just gonna mix it in with a tiny little pinch of sugar. And the whole idea about that is to let it sit until for about four to five minutes until it foams nicely up. And when that actually foams up, that tells me that the yeast is alive and you're gonna have some great, great bread. So once we have that, over here in the working bowl, I have four cups of flour and I will add one tablespoon of salt into it. I'm just gonna pulse it for about 10 seconds so that the salt is really evenly distributed with the flour. So once I have that, over here I have some uh, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna take that and mix that into the yeast. And of course the remaining water and I will pour that mixture here into my dough. There we go. And I'm just gonna pulse it on and off until really that dough comes together and forms a bowl. And here you see how easily it starts on coming together and you really want to work that dough, like I said, until it really forms a nice bowl and comes together. Here we go. And just by kneading the dough that way you create some elasticity to the dough and that's going to make another great result on the final product when you're going to be baking that bread dough. So I will put a little bit of flour here so it doesn't stick. And you see how, how easy it is. And I'm just gonna knead the dough to make sure everything comes nicely together. And you really, at that stage, don't have to be worried like overworking the dough because again, we're really creating a nice elasticity to that dough. Here we go. So once we have that, I'm just gonna form a nice bowl. Here we go. And once we're on that stage, I'm just gonna put that in a pretty good size of plastic bag because I wanna make sure that that dough rises now for about 45 minutes to about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. You just put that on a warm spot in the kitchen and basically until the dough doubles up in volume. And once you have that, then we're gonna continue. So you can see how beautiful it becomes. It's like a balloon, really. And then when you open up, it's actually very pleasant, but you can smell the yeast and has a little bit of that sour, sour flavor, like a sourdough. So it's really, really great and like another experience when you're making your own bread at home. I'm just gonna punch it down a little bit, just like that. And once we are on that stage, you just basically wanna roll out the dough. So I'm gonna use a little bit of flour. Here we go. And we're just gonna roll out basically the size of uh, the pan that we perfectly fits into the oven. So a nice little, little square. We're gonna spray the pan a little bit with some spray so the dough will not stick. And then just using your hands, you nicely just push them in the corners, but still that you have basically an even layer of dough. But like I said, it doesn't have to be that precise. It's something very simple, very rustic, kind of a peasant bread also. So once we have that, let me just brush that generously with some extra virgin olive oil. So therefore more flavor right there. So once we have that, I'm gonna put it on the side and you can put kind of little, little holes like that in it. So it really bakes nicely and evenly. Now, another item is a little bit of a sea salt or kosher salt that I'm sprinkling on. Contrary to any other bread, focaccio is really, uh, has a nice little salty taste when you bite into it and the salt therefore creates a little explosion. So it's really great. It works with charcuterie, cold cuts, any kind of things you want to serve with focaccio. And then of course, I'm going to sprinkle some rosemary over it. 
you could use eventually some time or so, it would work perfectly. And then at that stage, I'm just going to cover that up with plastic film very delicately and let it rise for another like 20 minutes in a little warm area in the kitchen. And then over here, I have one who has already risen and I'm going to peel off the plastic just like that very delicately. Basically, we are ready to put them in the oven. And that's actually the pan who fits perfectly in the oven. And if you would decide on even making a smaller version of it, you can bake the focaccia bread directly on the stone to have a perfect, perfect result. So here we go, we put them in there and bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's really nice and golden brown, or basically until you can actually smell it. That is really tastes so great. And even as a Frenchman, I really appreciate great focaccio and you see how easy it is to do and it actually smells great.